Hello, this is the Aftermarket Report with Vegas and Jim. Today's date is June the 17th, 2019, and I'm going to hand this right over to Miss Vegas to give us the watch list. Okay, well, the watch list is just short and sweet because, you know, we've got to keep you focused on just, you know, five at a time. So we're definitely going to talk about Facebook, and I hope you listened to the video yesterday because um, you would have known Facebook was bullish today. Uh, so we're going to talk about Facebook, Tiger, AFH, MoneyGram, and I think those are the four. Right, Jim? Yep. All right, so let's get going. So uh, Facebook, you know, we talked this, we talked about this yesterday, and uh, I just, you know, not to just go on and on about it, but I did share with you guys an article uh, that was uh, in the news, um, and it was just really an article just really talking about, um, you know, how Facebook is going to be launching this blockchain um Libra blockchain and uh, that it's, you know, being backed up by so many different people. And I did talk about, you know, people like um, PayPal and Stripe and Visa and MasterCard. So, you know, there's so many different people involved in this and they've all put in about $10 million. I mean, this has been going on for a year. Um, so we should be hearing some news. Uh, I don't know when, but supposedly the chatter is that it might be this week might be tomorrow um we i will say that uh, the last i know is that facebook and the libra association um they have a goal of launching um and an ecosystem to have it supported by 2020 so i would de definitely like to hear uh if there's gonna be any kind of news but nevertheless uh just based on that information i mean we knew facebook was gonna be probably super bullish today kind of read that Friday and uh, you know on Friday uh, the stock uh, today did have a low of 184.41 and you know what even after hours I mean it's trading at 189.65 so um, Facebook's had such a beautiful run today and uh, over 29.1 million shares traded and still trading after hours um, you know, it, it had a nice move. I mean, over $8 a share as soon as the market opened. Uh, it's fabulous. I mean, it, it, it wasn't going to be like a huge $20 run today. But you know what? No complaints here on uh, Facebook. So, Jim, over to you because I'd love to hear about the chart and what's happening there. Oh, yeah. We got a couple great possibilities on this trade right now. We definitely broke out of resistance yeah, as, as we called it on uh Sunday and then we have this new high area we can start playing with this other channel right in here and we did have a yearly high of 218.62 on a 52 week chart so we're going to pull it up to the 20 day and just have a little small gander at it we did call this little dip right here this double bottom and ever since then past two weeks it's ran up and broke resistance today of 186.86 and that's why we had to break so here we are we're up into a new channel now i mean a new high this is a beautiful two-day chart right here just positive almost all green candles the next resistances we got to see are going to be the 190.64 and the 192.43 and the pullbacks on this one here if it decides to pull back any at all it's going to be 188.11 that's going to be your first solid support or your second and your first one's going to be right at 189. So that's, you know, 65 cent difference right there. Let's pull it up on a daily, see if we can get anything out of it. We'll make it a five day. Yeah, I'm just seeing a very bullish pattern right now. We just got to hit them two next resistances 199, 190.64. And the other one is. 192.43 and that's Facebook good job Miss Vegas yeah and you know what I just want to give a shout out to my amazing options team I mean I you know we have a hard time sometimes trading Facebook I will say it is a bit of a difficult stock sometimes to trade uh, maybe other people say oh no it's a no-brainer it's so easy to trade it's not always easy because sometimes it just doesn't go the way you want and it's bullish and then it pulls back and then it's bearish and then it reverses so finally today was a good way to it was a good time to trade it and you know what we did spot this reversal on friday and we actually had facebook calls on friday that we did alert and um what the one that we had was the 190 strike 
And that was for expiry of June 21, which is this week. And you know what? Those did very well today, um, over 190 on each of those calls. So you know what? Facebook did great and uh, very pleased with the results of the option calls. And uh, people were happy, finally happy with Facebook. I mean, it's, it is frustrating. So good, good job. And thanks to Jim on those uh, support lines and resistance because, you know, when you have someone that can chart really well and that can give you support and resistance lines, it actually really, as much as people think sometimes, oh, like who cares the support resistance, you should care because when you have someone that can help you with that information, it actually helps you to hold on to the trade. And so when Jim gives me the support and resistance lines and he's very accurate, okay, most of the time, I would say at least 98%. Um, I mean, nobody's a perfect 100, okay? But, um, and if they say they are, they're lying. Uh, but anyways, um, the Facebook, going back to that, when he gives me the support and resistance, even though it sometimes had a bit of some pullbacks today, I still kept the option call because it was still in the channel. And then I'm glad I held it because it made new highs after hours. So again, also thanks to Jim's help uh, to keep in the trade because he gives me the numbers with the support and resistance that we know that the channel is still bullish. And that's why it's important to know what is the support, what is the resistance, because if the support breaks down, it's time to take profit, or if it's going to start breaking down, it's time to take profit. So um, thank you for that. Thank you, Ms. So Vegas. on to the next trade, thank you. So on to the next trade, we're going to talk about Tiger. You know what? i got to say, this Tiger has really honestly disappointed me in terms of how much this stock has pulled back, I just was really shocked to see it like this today. And I'm like, oh my God, this was like over $10 at one time. And now it's it was, you know, in the fours or fives, like high four, you know, 480s plus. And I was like, what the heck's going on? So one of the um, users in our group, um, Abby, he alerted that he likes the consolidation that it's been having for seven weeks. And when I looked at it, it was around $5 at the time. So you know, I unfortunately did miss it. Maybe I should have probably noticed it around 450. But I, you know, I was looking at so many other things going on during the day that I didn't actually look at Tiger. And you know what, Tiger is, um, in you know, in the fintech holding space there. But um, you know, Tiger Brokers is the subsidiary, and this is a uh, China company as well. So um, we did call this one here at five dollars. I think some people said they were in earlier. I don't know. But nevertheless, uh, Jim gave some very good support and resistance, and I liked it even for a swing trade. And so if you're not in the swing trade and you're looking for a swing trade, um, definitely I think uh, Tiger is one that you can look at tomorrow if you are looking for a swing trade because there is still room for this Tiger to roar and make some moves. So, Jim, let's hear about Tiger. Yeah, this is a newer IPO came out in China it's about three months old right now and she did we noticed this on the first run it did have and it ran all the way to 2389 and pulled back and we've been watching it ever since and I've called it wrong a couple of times thinking it would turn around and it never did and then today was the big candle that we were waiting for it did have a low of 409 as you can tell right here and we're gonna pull up the 20 day right now 20 day, one hour chart. You can see beautiful green candles all the way up to the end of the day. We did hit kind of a resistance level at around 445 and that's what we had to break earlier today. But we got a couple other resistances that we want to get to if this momentum keeps up and it's really not that far off. Uh, 526, 529 area right around there. And if we can break past that, we can get it up to the $7. If not, she's going to pull back right here back to the $5 area pretty solid about that five dollar support too anything below that is going to be another strong buy so let's pull up the daily one minute and we're also watching one live to you right now so I've got my eyes working in two different directions we've got a the support level is going to be right around this 505 area and the resistance that we got to break is going to be this new resistance here at 560 560 558 and then I'm going to draw another support right down here right around the 524 and maybe one right in this area right oh this is a beautiful spot right here at 535 so we've got different supports a lot of times I play them off the moving averages of the 200 or the 34 EMA 
We've snuggled up to the 34 all the way up today. It never did break below that. If it would have broke below that and hit that 200, I would have jumped in. But I, you know, I didn't chase it. I didn't jump in it, and that was my mistake. I was playing other stocks today. So the resistance we do have to break is going to be this 558. Once we break that 558, I'm going to pull back the 20 day or see if I can get it on the 10 day. 558 to the 573. I'm just going to give you the resistances right now. 573, and then we got that long hump that we want to try to take it to 629. We got a few more resistances on the way up, but we're going to finalize it right there at 629 with your support at $5. And then pull up this five day one more time. So we got the 505. Then we're going to have a little channel right here for your first. Maybe your second support at 524 to 535. Then your first support right here at 545. The resistance we got to break is 558. And try to bring it up to 629. And that's Tiger. And good job on that to uh, Abby in the room. So the next stock we're going to talk about is one that's real dear to us. That hit us pretty good today. And that's AFH. Yeah. So you know what? This one here, I mean... And, um stock authority did share this on friday i mean he likes to find these really good bottom plays and uh that was great also uh the reason it was mentioned too was you know there was also a 13g filed by american financial group if you guys remember back in april this company afh they actually got notification from nasdaq uh due to the timing of filing a form 10k they got some sort of uh receipt of a notification letter so um they were not <laughs> They were not uh, keeping up with their filings. But anyways, nevertheless, uh, the Atlas group of companies, uh, this particular stock, you know, they're into everything. They're into car service, limousines. They're into airport transit. I mean, you should check out their website. It's pretty interesting. Um, they do like um, airport transit. So if, you're, if you, you know, when you go to Vegas and you need a shuttle to go to your hotel or your resort or casino. So they're into all that. So they're into many things. They're into the insurance company. They're into so, so many, so many things. Car service, like I said, airport transit. They're into business auto, um, paratransit. So they for non-emergency medical transportation. So um, they also provide that. So they're into different, different things. Uh, but anyhow, uh, I like the fact that there was a 13G filing, and we do see here now that the stock did have some movement. And I actually thought that the stock at under a dollar was actually pretty cheap. So, um, you know what, Jim? Uh, let's hear about the chart because uh, I think uh, we could see some movement still on this stock on AFH. I think there's still room for some uh, the trade to move. So yep. let's hear about supports and resistance. And by the way, those of you listening, Facebook's just hit 190. So doing very well. Over to you, Jim, on AFH. Yeah, it definitely is a bottom play, AFH is. And they also have limousines, too. So, you know, they have real nice transit, a variety of of, uh, of products that they can use. So we're looking at the yearly chart. You see it did have some drama. It had a high of around 1139. Then you had a big gap, gap down here, probably due to earnings or something. And it's pulled back all the way to a year low of 6001. Six, 60 cents, more or less. So we're going to pull up the 20-day chart and get another look at it this way. You see it's been playing in a channel here for the last 20 days with a resistance high of 112, and I have a resistance at 103. So we did hit break out of that resistance that we needed to break today, and that was the level of 87 cents, 87.65. So I'm going to call that my first support right there at 87.65. And this other support is going to be your second one here at 82.71 with a low support right down here, right around the 78 cent area. So there's three good solid supports, and the resistance is that we do got a break now. Is that 91.82 or 91.92 right there? And if we can break past that, we'll get up in here to these other three resistances. And that's when it's 97.99, 98 more or less, 103, and then this 112. So, yes, that was a great call by Mr. Stock Authority, and we're glad to have him in the room. And this last one we're going to talk about is one that one of our local, kind of, kind of one of our sidekicks, I guess. Miss Vegas will talk about it, and that's 
going to be yeah. MGI. Okay, so MGI, this is with MoneyGram International. So, you know, this stock, I got to say, I have to give a shout out to my friends at Trade Exchange, the Traders Exchange. And those of you, I don't care what anyone says. If this new service is not providing you information in real time, you it's very hard to sometimes get into something. Things pop. People are like, oh, what's going on? Why is this popping? Well, you know what? Trade Exchange really does share as much as possible in real time. They are the fastest news service. I've tried quite a few in the past. They are the best because they not only give me the news feed in real time um, in uh, a screen, but they also give it on live audio feed. And that's what I need because I don't have time to look at screens all day reading news. Who does? I mean, we're busy trying to look for trades or we're in trades, but I got to look at the chart and I got to look at the tape. So I got to give a huge shout out to Trade Exchange. And if anyone's looking for a news service, uh, you're welcome to try them out. The link is in my website, ilovestocks.com. Go into the partner section. You can go and uh, check out the website that's listed there. Uh, they're a preferred partner of ours. And uh, you can try them out for $9.99 for the month if you use code Vegas. After that, they do charge $44.95 a month. But I got to tell you, this alone just pays for itself. I mean, um, just before the end of the day, I mean, it was kind of slow or like, okay, let's wrap up the night. And you know what? Out of nowhere, just before uh, the team at Trade Exchange left, uh, my good friend George, uh, he gave us the news on MGI, which is that Ripple announced the strategic partnership. So let me just briefly tell you guys a little bit about it. So cryptocurrency company Ripple, uh, they did announce a major partnership with MoneyGram. And we're going to be seeing a money transfer service use the digital currency called RXP. That's part of its day-to-day -day operation. So what's going to happen is Ripple will pay four ten a share to acquire an eight to ten percent stake in MoneyGram, which is technically a thirty million dollar investment, and also gives MoneyGram the option for another twenty million dollar cash infusion in the next two years. So you know what? Took a position on the stock based just on the news. And at first I thought, I wonder if this will be one of those like pop and drops. But when I read the news, the details, which is what I'm sharing with you, I thought, no way, man, this like right now, like this to me is like something that I would want to swing trade and maybe hold on because this like, you know, if you see like Facebook's getting into the crypto, now Ripple's getting a uh, connect, like investing in MoneyGram, like there's like something going on here. Right. So crypto is starting to get, uh, you know, more um, in the spotlight. So, Jim, I'd like you to talk about that MoneyGram chart, because we can see that after hours um, from my entry around 209, um, it did go to 315. We're currently at 294. So what can we see here on this chart? Give me the money. Yeah. So, give me the money. Show me the money. Show me the money. What, this movie, is a, what a, movie was that from? Oh, I can't remember. Uh, Oh my god! I, all I know is it was Tom Cruise. That's yeah. all. But here we if are. Anyone knows what the name of the movie was? Please comment in the video because I forget what the movie's called. Yeah. Okay, Jim. Okay, so we had another bottom play here, and when they come out with that news at four ten a share, I mean that that excited me pretty much too. But this is another bottom play. You see one thirty three here on the yearly chart. We did have a year high of seven forty two. I think these guys were very generous. And they must have really, really think this is going to work out real well. So we're going to pull up the 20-day chart right now. I have it already lined out and resistanced out. And I'm going to have to probably go to a three-month so I can see these other resistances. We do have a high up here right around the 339 area. And right now we're at 296. So we need to hit that resistance of 339 tomorrow and maybe back up to 367. And then the final resistance for now is going to be right here around 407, which uh, she mentioned 410. So I'm going to pull up the 20-day chart right now. And you can stop this video at any time if you want and draw some of these numbers down and try to line them up with your analysis. So here's the 20-day chart. You see that we did break resistance at 185. Miss Vegas got in at 209. I was a little slow to the draw, but I'll tell you where I want to try to get in this trade at. We're going to pull up the five-day, five-minute right now and take a look at that. I got a level here that I want to look at is 250 to 257 for a pivot point area. 
maybe your second support. Your first one's going to be right here at 274. And then I think it'll hop around between the 288 and 309 today and probably maybe pull back to this area. I'm hoping that we do pull back to the 250 to the 257 so I can jump in. I'm going to pull up the daily three minute. Get another look at it. I see another trend line I want to put right here at 240. This little gap in here between 240 and 238. Kind of compromise with that. And Miss Vegas got down in here right around the 209 area. So she runs she heard the news, she jumped right into the trade. We are getting ready to have a double top breakout maybe here at 305. If we can break that 305, we're going to go up to the 315 and break that high. So these are going to be your support levels. It's either I'll play it off a daily one minute off my 34 or my 200 EMA. That'll be my, my last choice. My first choice will be maybe try to get in on the pullback at 250 to 257. That's going to be my, my, my solid pivot point. And if it goes any lower than that, it's going to be in this channel right down here between 213 and 231. Resistance breakout is, like I said before, is going to be this 305. If we can break that 305 tonight, we're going to take it up to 315. And then I'm going to pull up that three-month chart again. Once we pass the 315 to 309 area, we got this other little channel we got to get up in, get up into. And that's going to be your 339, 351, 366, and then the final 407. And this is MGI. Right now we are at, we broke the 305, we're at 307. So... Very All right, and we could see that double top there at 315 coming. So, you know what? I like the news. I like the money. Listen, the money that was put in as it's an investment, lot. it's not spare change. It's actually a lot. Um, so, you know, and the fact is that they're willing to pay 410 a share. So, you know what? This has room probably for another dollar. So, you know, this is great. There's your 315. Great, great so here's an example, you know, like, I mean, I didn't know. I mean... I don't like we can't sit and, and look for news nonstop. I mean, this is what makes trade exchange so unique is that, you know, they're they are watching news all over the place on social media, on different news feeds. They got Bloomberg terminals. I mean, they're on everything. And let me tell you, they alerted this. And I don't know anyone that alerted this any faster than they did. So I got to thank them. And this trade alone pays for the whole year on this actual service so but you don't have to pay for the service uh you're welcome to come join our room if you're interested i mean i share the voice audio in our room uh you're welcome to come by and experience the room we have a free trial so feel free anytime to drop by and you can experience trade exchange because you may like it for yourself uh personally so you know some people like having their own news feed so that's fine you're, but you're welcome to actually experience it with us um, at no charge when you come into the trial. So feel free to come visit. So on that note, I look forward to trading uh, tomorrow. I'm very excited about Facebook tomorrow. And uh, excited now about this MGI, how that's going to go. Um, also, for those of you that love uh, Tesla lovers, um, definitely keep that one on watch. I mean, that should be on everyone's daily watch list tesla is just like one of those ones that just every day is a nice little surprise and tesla does surprise us every day um so keep that on your watch especially if you like the large cap stocks or you like to trade options uh tesla should be on your like daily watch list and i just wanted to throw that in and we got that 320 highs here on mgi so thank you everyone for tonight and uh, congrats again to canada on raptors I got to say the streets of downtown Toronto had millions of people and it's so nice to see that uh, no um, no bad behavior going on. The city is just so happy. The country is happy. All of Canada is so happy. Everyone's just celebrating. Everyone's in a good mood. Everyone's having fun. And that's what life is just really all about. So have a good night, everyone. See you tomorrow. And Jim, any last words from you? Yeah. If like Miss Vegas says, if you want to join our chat room, we do have a link here on our website. You just follow the instructions. We are on Discord channel. We also share other scanners in the room. We do have trade ideas, and we have a couple other uh, uh, things going on in here. 
Um, and also, if we would appreciate it if you did hit the link and subscribe to our our uh, Twitter page. All you got to do is hit that little link right there, and it takes you right to the Twitter page. And we also have links to our Stock Twits page, both Vegas and I. You can poke them up and, and follow us all the, also on there. And this is the aftermarket. And uh, also, before we go, like, um, if you're not uh, coming in for a trial, at least try to follow on Facebook, uh, not Facebook, try to follow on Twitter and or stock twits i'm not sure which whatever social media you may have out there because i do post in real time and if you would have been a follower of stock twits or twitter you would have got the notification about the mgi news and by the time i posted it i mean i posted that really fast uh it posted at two dollars and 22 cents and right now you have um the stock is at 340 oh my god insane yep beautiful trade so this to follow this is the aftermarket report with Vegas and Jim. We do appreciate it. Today's date's June 17, 2019, and we love stocks. What's going on here?